Let me tell you what, I'm really excited. I've, this is the last morning here in Malindi, Kenya, and it has been such a blessing to be here again with Sammy. He was translating for me, and uh, you know, it, it's nice to be able to interact with somebody who understands the same kind of message and ideas and thoughts, because the first guy that tried to translate, he, God bless him, I'm sure he could have done a good job, but when I started sharing, he didn't really know where I was going with the thoughts, and so it was a little bit confusing, and then Sammy stepped up, and it just went really smooth after that, and I was so thankful. God bless you, Sammy. Also, Zadok, being able to spend time with him and see him again and meet his... I knew his brother, but I didn't realize I had known his brother. His brother plays music really beautifully and seems to have a lot of skills and a lot of knowledge, and just Zadok and, and Andrew, his brother, such a blessing to be here and be able to work with Stephen and how he's been so faithful to cook and how he learned from like Sammy's wife, Remy, and how she trained him for a week on how to cook. Let me tell you, Remy, <laughs> this guy can cook and I'm sure you've had a good part in that, a big part in that. And let me just show you some of the, the picture here. It's a beach and I've never been to the beach here in Kenya. So this is my first time doing that, but, uh, yeah, Remy, shout out to your ability to cook and, and your ability, your willingness to share with others. And then uh, just knowing the other people, like seeing Eli Muti again and being able to meet um, Silas and knowing that, that he was actually, you know, I suppose by the providence and gift of God, he was his sight was taken. And I know that was because he'd be able to minister in ways that he couldn't otherwise. We prayed for him that the Lord would restore his sight. God chose not to, and I'm sure it's because God has a plan greater than what we can understand. Anyways, I know I'm forgetting people. Oh, the, the man that I met um, named Samuel, he's a pastor, a Pentecostal pastor, but recently David over in America, David Brahman was able to interact with him through online, through WhatsApp, I think it is, and was able to bring him to the point where he understood the Sabbath and the importance of it. But then here at this time, I was able to share with him the truth about God and he was just mind blown. He said, wow, I need to study this. And I was telling him like, the Sabbath is a sign. It's a sign for what? The sign is not the location. The sign points to you or points you to the location. And he's like, well, you know, he, he could see it right away. The sign is to the one true God creating through his son and redeeming through his son. And so what we have here is just a, a great experience of being able to meet him. In three months after learning about the Sabbath, he planted 44 churches in three different countries. And I'm like, okay, this is, God has got his hand on this man. And the same thing with Zadok and Sammy and some of the others that I'm interacting with here. God has this movement going on here in Kenya in such a way that it's just a great blessing. And let me tell you what, hey, <laughs> my daughter was here with me. And it was such a great encouragement for me here. Let me tell you what's going on because my daughter is fairly shy. She doesn't like to be the focal point. She doesn't like to be, you know, um, too much involved with different people that she doesn't know, etc. But when I invited her to come here, partly because Elle had wanted to come, and I'll tell you that in a second, my daughter said, yeah, I'd like to go. That'd be great. And so what happens is I invite my daughter to come and I said, hey, one of the things you could do if you wanted to is you can share your experience, like your own personal Bible studies with some of the youth there. And she was like, huh, are you serious? I'm like, well, yeah, you can. And she was like, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I got a lot of schoolwork and I just feel, I don't know, I'm going to be tired. I've never been out of the country. I don't teach people. So I was like, hey, no problem. If you don't want to do it, I understand. No problem. I'm not going to force you. But if you're willing, if you think God is calling you to do that, then please share with them. And then I just left it. And so she decided on her own by praying and just believing that God was leading to put together three messages whereby she'd be able to share with the youth. And she was able to share all those messages. Yesterday I took a video of her and she was teaching like 30 youth. And I was just mind blown that my daughter was not even, I mean, that she was willing to do that. So encouraging. And so my heart is just singing for the fact that my daughter has done that and been willing to stand up in such a way She's 18 years old and she's teaching the gospel in Africa. Amen, yes. My son last year went to Thailand and he was able to teach the gospel to young people in Thailand at 20, 
I think he was 20 years old at the time. Amen. And so I'm just encouraged. I'm really encouraged. What a blessing. And so uh, anyways, I invited my daughter to come because this lady named Elle, she works there as in the sheriff's office over in Somerville, Georgia. And she's also, uh, she cleans houses on the side and she's been, she recently was done with school and she's raising her child. And it's just, you know, she's an incredible person with a lot of gifts. Well, when I had studied the Bible with her cause she had cleaned the house and then we asked her to come back cause my wife and I cleaned the house of course, but we couldn't do so because we were gone. And then we asked my mother to hire somebody to clean the house while we were gone. She chose this lady named Elle, I believe in the providence of God, because Elle had just been baptized recently last year. Again, because she had been baptized before. But now uh, she had studied with me after she had come back because we wanted her to come back because she was interested in meeting who I was. And then she asked about the Bible and I thought, okay, we got to bring her back again. And so what happens is um, she asked me, what does the Bible say about death? What happens when you die? Well, we studied together. She went through some of the videos online. And then what happens is when she said, well, you go on a mission, on mission trips, like, where do you, uh, when do you go? And I said, well, I'm going to Kenya in a couple of months. And she was like, I want to go. I was like, awesome. Well, hey, I'll tell you what, it wouldn't be right if I went, you know, with you alone to another country. So if I can find somebody to go with me, we'll bring you along. No problem. And that's when I asked my daughter and my daughter was like, yeah, I'll go. So anyways, what a blessing. And so, uh, you know, we've all been able to sit around and talk, my daughter and Elle and the other folk here, just being able to discuss some of the thoughts about the Bible. It's been really inspiring. And so I'm encouraged. I know that my daughter and Elle have been encouraged. The folk that are here are encouraged. It's just, I'm just wanting to just spill the beans here, you know, just tell everybody, everything about what's going on because my heart is just rejoicing. And so, uh, yeah, this is my last morning. I'm praising God for the opportunity to be here. I wanted to share with the folk that have prayed about this ministry and been able to just encourage with you know texts or messages, emails. Some of you have been able to help other ways and we praise God for that. And so thank you. And uh, hey, pray for those that were recently baptized while we were here. There is a huge movement here in Kenya with the, uh, the man Samuel, also in Ethiopia with Tibeso, a huge movement. We got to pray right now for Naik. He is uh, struggling with a situation with his family that we're just continuing to keep in prayer. And uh, just know that, that God is still leading, God is moving, God is blessing. And I feel as though we are seeing drops of the latter rain. I, you know I've said that before, I've taught about this in the past, but it's just becoming more evident that God is pouring out his spirit in such a way People understand truth. They can know truth quickly. I mean, in moments they can learn what others, it took years to learn. And so I'm just really excited about all this and I believe that God is doing a great work. I am uh, thankful to be alive right now at this time in earth's history. And I believe that we have a great calling from God to be faithful personally and to be also faithful together. So let's continue to pray for each other and we'll see you. God bless.